Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making homemade oatmeal cream pies. Now my husband and daughter love the Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies and not the little ones. They like the big ones. So uh, I found this recipe, it was posted on Facebook and my husband and daughter had a fit that decided I needed to make these. So I'm going to go over the ingredient list with you. Um, you're going to need a cup of unsalted butter which is two sticks. You're going to need three-fourths of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar which is just regular sugar. You're going to need two eggs. You're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to need a teaspoon of um, baking soda, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to need three cups of oatmeal, which I'll show you what I bought. It says to do the quick cook or the old fashioned. I'm not an oatmeal person. I don't eat it, so I wasn't sure. I saw old fashioned and I said I'll grab that. So this is what I've got. Um, and then for the icing, um, you're going to need um, two and a half cups of sifted confectioner sugar. Uh, and you want to sift it because if you've never worked with it, it gets lumpier than flour does at times. Um, so you want uh, two and a half cups of that. And you're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, um, three-fourths of, uh, of a cup of butter which is going to be a stick and a half and if you're not familiar and it's unsalted butter also if you're not familiar with how much butter is this there's on here it's a little chart and there's eight tablespoons per stick of butter and it uh, will tell you that uh, eight tablespoons equals half a cup so then you just do the math for a cup and a half uh, or I'm sorry three quarters of a cup um, and then, so I've got my vanilla, and then it's, uh, it calls for a tablespoon of milk. So until I'm ready to use my milk, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator. That way, it doesn't go bad. So, I'm going to get my bowl prep, or get my bowl ready, and I will come right back. Okay, I may have forgot to mention that you want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Um, so I've got my both of my sugars and my two sticks of butter in here, and I'm gonna. It says to cream this. Now, keep in mind, I'm learned. This is the first time I've ever made this recipe, so this is a learning experience for us both. <laughs> Okay, so it says to cream it um, about three minutes, and I've got, you can see, it looks kind of fluffy. And if you have a stand mixer, this would be great to make in a stand mixer. I do not, so that's why I'm using this. Now you have to add your two eggs and your vanilla. Okay, so I've got this all mixed together, and now what you do is you take your flour, and you're going to add your salt, your baking soda, and your cinnamon. And you just want to whisk this. I chose the small whisk I have so I wouldn't make a mess. Um, just whisk it together, and I have a feeling I'm still going to make a mess. I probably should have chose a bigger bowl. Now, what you'll do is you're going to, see, there it goes, you're going to add this to the wet mixture just a little bit at a time. So we're going to add some.
Okay, so I've got um, all my ingredients meshed together. Now we add the oats. And we want to incorporate all of the oats in with this. Okay, so I've got them, the oats all incorporated in here, but I'm just scraping the side of the bowl with my spatula and kind of make it into a little ball down there and kind of mix it in what was on the side, kind of mix that in. So I'm going to take just a second to clean up here, get my mixer put up, and then I will start putting the cookies on to the, uh, the parchment line sheet. Okay, so I got my ice cream scooper, and I don't want a, I don't want it like over, wow, I don't want it overflowing, so we're going to make them about like that. We're going to do six at a time. Looks like these are going to make the giant oatmeal cream pies. Okay, I've got my six cookies on here, and we're going to bake them 13 to 15 minutes at 350. So, I'm going to stick those in there. I'm going to put my timer on. 13 minutes and we will check back in 13 minutes to see how well they've got done okay I've got 40 seconds left on the timer and I've peeked at them and you know, did my timer for 13 minutes um, I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer because these are bigger so I'm just gonna watch them for another couple of minutes and then I'll uh, show you when I take them out out. Ooh, those look good. So I'm going to let them sit here for just a minute um, and settle and then I'm going to take them and put them on the cooling rack. So um, I will let them sit here for about a minute before I transfer them over. Okay, so I'm taking these off now. They've settled just a little bit. Um, and you see they stuck a little bit, but that's that's okay to the paper. Um, I'm going to let them cool here, and I'm going to get new paper, and I will meet you back here momentarily. Okay, so I've got my new paper down, and I'm going to go ahead and get my next batch on, and we'll see how these turn out. Okay, I've already pulled out the last batch of cookies. This made uh, 12, 14, 16 cookies. Um, so all of them have cooled. I've got these on the rack right here. I'm just going to let them cool a little bit longer. I've got my youngest daughter, my handy dandy uh, assistant here, Amber. Hi. And she's got the butter in here, and she's going to go ahead and start beating the butter. Let's put this on. Um, just a side note, you want to uh, do this for just a few minutes so it'll get uh, fluffy and it'll have a creamier texture for the, um, for your icing. Okay, she's got the butter all fluffy uh, and creamy so what we're going to do now is add the confectioner sugar and we're going to do this a little bit at a time so if you want to go ahead and turn the mixer on sweetie hello yes one notch up okay, 
Okay, so we've got the um, confection of sugar mixed in with the butter. So now Amber's going to add the milk and the vanilla. And I went ahead and scraped down the sides of the bowl. Um, so I'm going to let her mix this in. Low? Yes. Okay, so Amber got my icing finished up for me. I scraped down the sides of the bowl. So what I'm going to do is put this in a Ziploc bag and then I'll cut the tip of it off and then just pipe it onto the cookies. So um, the best way to do it is to fold your Ziploc bag down. And this is a gallon size Ziploc bag. It just makes it easier to handle when you're um, squeezing the icing out. So try to get it over in one corner if you can. That makes it a lot easier when you're trying to squeeze it out of the bag. Okay, I got my last plop of icing in here. So what I'll do is just hold this and scrape because you want to get as much icing in there as you can. I know everyone's going to want to lick the spoons, but you try to get what you can and get as much air out as possible. And seal the bag up. So now I'm going to work this down to one corner. So there you go. And I will... Don't put any pressure on it. See, it's already gone almost to the very corner there. So you just want to snip that. And I'm going to, as I assemble these, I'm going to put them on my cooling rack. So, put that there. And there's the top. So grab the next one. And you don't want to fill them all the way to the edge because once you start biting into it, it's going to squeeze out. See? So. There, and put that one on top. These look so good. So here is the oatmeal cream pie. It looks delicious. Can't wait to get into it. Uh, I do want to say that I had um, a couple of cookies that didn't kind of mash up, match up. So these are going to be iced and eaten separately. Um, so I hope you enjoy these. We're about to cut into these and uh, they look delicious. So enjoy. Okay, we tried the oatmeal cream pies. Oh my, little Debbie has nothing on these. So I bagged these up in individual sandwich bags. These are awesome. They were so big that my daughter and my husband and myself all shared one. And then I took one, uh, or my husband took one to his mom and my other daughter was over there. These are just amazing. The icing is wonderful. The cookie is wonderful. You've got to try these. Absolutely amazing. So, enjoy. <laughs>